All right, this practice problem is big. It's a doozy too. So all the answers are right below it, but I did want to give you some hints for some of them in case you get stuck. So this is an angled launch. So you do have to resolve that initial velocity into components and make sure you're substituting appropriately into all these equations. So the first one, we're trying to find that time in the air. So we're using number equation number two in the y direction and we're solving for t. Now notice there's a t and a t squared. So you could polysimult at this point or um, what you can do is just factor out a t and then solve for when that inside is equal to zero to find your time. After that, you're gonna to wanna to figure out how far did it go? Well, you're finding the range, you're gonna use equation number two in the x direction, because acceleration is zero, and you're gonna use that time from the y direction, because remember, time is our link between these two. So the time it was in the air for, that whole time it was moving horizontally, you wanna figure out how far that was. For C, we're doing a max height problem, Okay, so a max height problem. We actually only need the y direction here. So we're gonna have equation number three, set that up, solve for y. Make sure you substitute appropriately for your initial vertical velocity, that v naught y. D is a little trickier, so it's a little more of a step process. So we wanna figure out the height when the x is four. Now remember our link between the x and the y is time, so I'm gonna use that x equals four to find time, and I'm gonna use that time over in the y direction then to find y. So use our equation number two in the x direction to find time. Once we have that, we can plug it into the y direction to figure out the height when it is at x equals four. E and F kind of go together. So this is when we get to the end, I need to find the, vertic or the vertical and the horizontal components of the velocity at the end, so vx and vy. So I'll be using equation number one there. Then F wants me to combine those together to find the total or the resultant velocity and the angle. So I will have to combine those two components together to find the magnitude and direction. So there's your hints for this big practice problem.